Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the metering diaphragm in your engine's carburetor, first make sure the engine has cooled. Now depress the tabs to release the air filter cover and pull out the filter element. Use an 8mm socket or nut driver to unthread the mounting nuts securing the filter housing. Remove the support plate and detach the housing from the breather tube. Note the orientation of the fuel lines attached to the carburetor. Then detach them. Be prepared for some fuel to spill. With the lines detached, slide the carburetor off of the mounting posts and set it on a sturdy surface. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws holding the carburetor components together. Lift off the mounting plate and metering cover. If still intact, separate the old diaphragm from the metering gasket. When installing a new metering diaphragm, we recommend using a new gasket as well. Confirm that the spring, pump gasket and diaphragm and needle housing remain properly aligned. Now holding the carburetor straight up, align the metering gasket on the tabs, followed by the new diaphragm. Reposition the metering cover and the mounting plate. Thread and tighten the screws to secure. Confirm that the mounting posts are fully extended and slide the carburetor onto them. Attach the fuel lines to the appropriate ports on the carburetor. Confirm that the O-ring is in place on the air filter housing then reposition the housing by inserting the port into the breather tube as you align the housing on the posts. Replace the support plate, then thread and tighten the mounting nuts to secure the assembly. Replace the air filter element. Realign the air filter cover and snap it into place.